The start of the season for Lewis Hamilton and his team Mercedes has been absolutely fantastic. But for now at least, Lewis Hamilton in 2019 as the season goes on is getting even better. As his lead on the Drivers' World Championship over his teammate Valtteri Bottas has become even more commanding. And because of that, in today's video I'm going to analyse why for me Lewis Hamilton is heading towards his 6th world title. So to find out why Lewis Hamilton is heading for another World Championship in 2019, make sure to check out this video. So to start off, let's first look at Lewis Hamilton's 2019 so far. So first off, of course, is Australia. Qualifying for him was absolutely fantastic, getting a very, very good pole. In the race, of course, he did lose to Valtteri Bottas, but did have damage to his car. So... His result and the gap he was behind Valtteri Bottas was a bit excessive because of the damage he did have. But I think at the end of the day, Lewis was always going to finish in P2. Then in Bahrain, Ferrari, after their poor start in Australia, responded. And they really put Lewis Hamilton, Mercedes and of course Valtteri Bottas under plenty of pressure. But Lewis Hamilton still somehow... Came out on top in Bahrain. Of course, because of Charles Leclerc's issue with his power unit. Lewis did drive very well, but for me was, at the end of the day, lucky to win this Grand Prix. He did, though, again, drive very well. China, the car was very good. And Lewis Hamilton, except for some points in qualifying, was still, at that weekend, very, very good. In the race, got the start right, got past Bottas and cruised home to another race win. Baku, again the car was very good, but Lewis Hamilton by his own admission after not getting pole position was too kind to Valtteri Bottas on the first lap because Lewis Hamilton was a bit more forceful. I think Lewis would have got into the lead and I think because of how quick he was, especially at the end of the race where he almost passed Bottas with about two laps to go, I think if he did be say a bit more forceful, Lewis would have gone to the lead and dominantly won that Grand Prix. Spain, his qualifying was very, say, scruffy at the Circuit de Catalunya. And Valtteri, I have to say, at that Grand Prix did a very good job. But Lewis Hamilton knew that he had to get into the lead at the start. And of course he did. And after that, he romped away winning that race easily. Then came Monaco where... He did very well to beat Bottas to pole position. But then, after his first and only pit stop, he put in one of the best performances of his career so far, holding Max Verstappen behind for 60-plus laps without making one single error. That, no matter how you think of Lewis Hamilton, has to go down as one of his best performances. How he did that without making a mistake and without cracking under pressure, I don't know. But he did and very deservedly went on to win that Grand Prix. Then we came to Canada where Lewis now faced quite a strong uh, challenge from Sebastian Vettel and Ferrari at that race. And I still think because of the whole penalty situation, I still don't think Lewis Hamilton uh, deserved to win that race. But... He did, in the race, still drive very well. And I think we did miss out on a great battle for the win between Hamilton and Vettel. And who knows if Hamilton would have got past at the end of the race if there was no penalty. But Lewis Hamilton still drove very well, especially compared to teammate Valtteri Bottas. In France, he dominated the weekend and was easily the best driver that weekend. In Austria, the last race, yes, he wasn't that great. And he did make a couple errors and it definitely, for Lewis Hamilton, was a weekend to forget. But I think you do have to remember, especially in the second half of the race, the Mercedes car was definitely not working how it was supposed to. Because in the race, especially in the second half of the Austrian Grand Prix, that car was probably the slowest out of the top three. So... 
The car necessarily wasn't working for him, but also I don't think Lewis was at his absolute best in Austria. But as we know of Lewis Hamilton, you know, these things can happen having one bad race. But I'm sure Lewis Hamilton will be in about a week's time right back at it. And of course, his home race at Silverstone. But after those first nine races, how does it compare to the first nine races for Lewis Hamilton of last year 2018 well so far in 2019 he has six race wins and three pole positions and of course has 197 points in 2018 though after nine races he had three race wins and three pole positions and only 145 points now i know the mercedes car is definitely better this year than it is compared to the first nine races of 2018 but i think if you look at lewis compared to valtteri bottas in the first nine races of 2018 compared to first nine races of this season lewis is definitely better than he was after those first nine races of last season now i wouldn't say it's been his best start to a season but he's definitely been better than he was last year again after the first half of the season but what have been the keys for Lewis Hamilton having the championship lead so far? And why will he, for me, win the sixth world championship in 2019? Well, the first reason for me is that Lewis Hamilton is still at the absolute peak of his powers. Because let's first look at a couple great performances of him in 2019, for example. So first off in Bahrain, where Lewis Hamilton, of course, went on to win. That weekend, he did not have the best car. Ferrari, absolutely, that weekend had the best car. Now, in a similar way to Monza in 2018, where again, Ferrari that weekend had the best car. Because of how great Lewis Hamilton has become, if you as a team or as a pair of drivers opposed to Lewis Hamilton, if you give Lewis Hamilton a slight opportunity or looking to try and climb a position or win a race lewis is that good that he will take that opportunity for example in bahrain mercedes when it came to when they were pitting were very very aggressive for example lewis hamilton on his second pit stop they pitted just before sebastian vettel and tried the undercut once vettel came out the pits slightly ahead hamilton knew that he had to attack Vettel and try and force a mistake, and he did. And Vettel spun, of course, and Hamilton got past. Again, if you give Lewis a slight opportunity, he will take it because he is at the absolute peak of his driving career, and he's so, so hard to stop when you give him the slightest opportunity to go and get a position or win a race. And then, of course, with Charles Leclerc, having his reliability issue even though i think charles leclerc was the deserving winner again if you're a team or a driver if you give lewis hamilton a look in even if it's a slight look in to getting a race win he is absolutely going to take it and i think lewis hamilton in bahrain showed that even though he didn't deserve to win the race that you have to perform if you're again if you're opposing lewis hamilton as a team or a pair of drivers you have to be flawless in your performance if you're going to beat lewis hamilton because again if you go back to monza in 2018 ferrari again with their drivers and them as a team were not flawless and that's what allowed lewis hamilton to come through and beat raikkonen and vettel in 2018 at that race and again it shows that Lewis is that good that as a team, again, opposing Hamilton, you have to basically perform perfectly to beat him. And that is a very, very hard thing to do, of course, in Formula One. But another performance that shows how great Lewis is right now is, again, Monaco. As I said earlier, holding Max Verstappen behind for that long really does show how great he is. And also, one comparison shows the clear difference between another driver that has been 
regularly compared to Lewis Hamilton in the last few years, and that is Sebastian Vettel. For example, Vettel, of course, you know, he went off the track and for me didn't deserve a penalty in that incident in Canada, but he cracked under pressure in making that mistake that led to that penalty. He cracked under pressure after what? 10 laps? Something like that? Lewis Hamilton had Verstappen behind him for 60 plus laps and did not make one single error. And for me, when it comes to the comparison between Hamilton and Vettel and really anyone else on the grid, that shows right now the clear difference that Lewis Hamilton is almost perfect in terms of not making mistakes and also having just enough pace even when his car is not performing at his absolute best to win a Grand Prix or to finish on a podium. Also another reason why I think Lewis is going to win his sixth world title is because at times this season where his car has been very dominant, for example races like Shanghai, Baku and Barcelona, in the races, for example, Shanghai and Barcelona, when he didn't have the best qualifying performance he could have had, and I will say that's the only slight weakness of Lewis Hamilton in 2019, is that he hasn't always had the best qualifying performances, but I think because he is so great at them, I think we are at times expecting a bit too much, and I think honestly what he's still doing is still very, very good, but... After he has had a qualifying session where he feels as though he could have got more out of the car, still, when it comes to race day and when it comes to the most decisive moments, he still produces the goods when he needs to. For example, the start of the race in Shanghai and Barcelona. And that, for me, is another key difference between Lewis Hamilton and, say, Valtteri Bottas in the championship battle, is that when there is a decisive moment, Lewis Hamilton almost every single time is going to come out on top because the guy just has a knack of repeatedly producing decisive moments in his favour that go on to win him races, get him on the podium, get in pole position or even win a world title. But the third and final reason for me is that Valtteri Bottas for the last few races hasn't been that good and I'll explain why so after the first five races Valtteri Bottas was looking very good he wasn't after the Barcelona Grand Prix leading the world championship but he was still looking very good and was at that time one of the best performing drivers on the grid but ever since qualifying in Monaco where he made a bit of an error in trying to get pole ever since then Things have not really got better for Valtteri Bottas in terms of results and also in terms of his own performances. In Monaco in the race, he did get a bit unlucky, but I don't think he was ever going to beat his teammate Lewis Hamilton. In Canada, he was quite frankly terrible to qualify where he did, and his pace in the race wasn't that impressive either. In France... Honestly, I think he only finished in the position he did because of the car being so good, not because of himself being so good, because he was almost passed by Charles Leclerc at the very end of that race. And then in Austria, after the crash in practice two, he was really off it in terms of pace for the rest of the weekend. And I know in the race he did beat Lewis Hamilton, and I think he did deserve to, but... His pace wasn't really special and he definitely fell off a lot in terms of pace in the last 20 to 30 laps of that Grand Prix and was miles off the race winner at the end of that race. And that's why I say in terms of his own performances, he hasn't exactly been getting better ever since qualifying in Monaco. And because Valtteri is on the downturn when it comes to his own form, and because also I don't think he will hit the heights of his own form back in Baku or Melbourne. And because, of course, Lewis Hamilton is a better driver than Valtteri Bottas, I just don't see how Valtteri Bottas can seriously challenge Lewis Hamilton for the World Championship. And also, I think 
Hamilton, even if he does have a bad day, I don't necessarily think that Valtteri Bottas can fully capitalise on Hamilton having a bad day, as we saw in Austria. And I think as the season goes on, Lewis is going to slowly but surely pull away and then by Mexico or the US Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton will take his sixth world championship. And then Lewis, of course, will be only one step away from equaling the great man, Michael Schumacher. Now, of course, I could be proved wrong and Valtteri Bottas could mount a comeback, but realistically, I don't think that is going to happen. But if you guys disagree, then make sure to comment down below why you disagree. Or if you do agree, then make sure again to comment down below. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video. But also, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And also, smash the like button for more content like this. And don't forget, me and Nib will be live on Saturday for a preview of the 2019 British Grand Prix. So until then, and my next recorded video, it has been me, Chazer HD. Goodbye.